Bonjour, this is Mademoiselle J, and this is a grammar video that's going to hopefully last you for a while, so I'm not going to put it in a unit necessarily. Um, but we're going to be learning about the passé composé, which is the past tense in French. There are actually several past tenses, but this is the most common one, and this is uh, the one that we're going to learn first. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do, but it's very um, rule-based. It's very much a formula. So if you follow the formula, you should be fine, just like regular conjugations that you're used to in the present but now we're going to add a little more to it. So I'm going to start by uh, teaching you a new verb. So the verb we're going to use just to make this more fun is bave, which is what the snail just did. So bave is, is actually the verb that's specific for the snail sliming the ground. Um, so right now, all you are able to do is describe what the snail is doing in the present tense. Um, il bave, okay? So right now, il bave, l'escargot bave, okay? Now if I wanted to describe what just happened, I don't have the way to say that yet because we haven't learned it. So um, if we just quickly take a look at the present, remember in the present tense, everything that's underlined in green is the same for any subject pronoun. So je bave, okay, I don't bave, but just if I did. <laughs> Um, tu bave, il bave, nous bavons, vous bavez, il bave. Okay, the bave part is the same for everybody. That's the stem of the verb. But then the endings change in the present tense. So we have the e, e, s, e, o, n, s, e, z, e, n, t. And that depends on whether it's an ER verb, IR verb, etc. But you're used to that pattern. Okay, what we're going to do today is talk about the passé composé. So in the passé composé, you actually are going to also have two parts, but they're going to be two completely separate words. Okay, so the passé composé. Composé means compound. Okay, it's a compound tense, which means more than one word. Okay, just the same thing that compound means in English grammar. Okay, and we're actually going to have two parts to make the passé composé. The first part we call the auxiliaire, or the helping verb. Um, and most of the time you're going to use avoir. Sometimes we use être, but that's going to be more French too, okay? So for right now, we're just using avoir as the auxiliaire. And then you have to have a second part. So always remember plus participe passé, okay? Participe passé. And try not to confuse participe passé with passé composé, okay? Um, in English, this is the past participle. Um, and the easy way to remember this is that the regular verbs, if it's an ER verb, the ending will change to E accent aigu. If it's an IR verb, it's going to change to E. If it's an RE verb, it's going to change to U. And then if it's an irregular verb, as usual, even in the present tense, you just have to know it by heart. Okay? So that's the basic formula for the passé composé. Now we'll do an example. Okay, so... Il bave, but now I want to be able to say that he slimed in the past tense. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my auxiliaire. Okay? So my auxiliaire is going to be avoir. You should be used to this. So in the present tense of avoir, we have j'ai, tu as, il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Okay? That you have to know by heart. So we take the present tense of avoir, and then we need to find the participe passé. So again, what we do is we look for the ending. This is a regular ER verb, and we're just going to change it to this. So the ER changes to E accent aigu. It sounds the same. Bave becomes bave. Now what if we had an IR verb or an RE verb? Okay. We don't, but we're just going to practice, okay? We had the verb finir. The IR would change to I. So finir, the participe passé is fini. For rendre, which is a regular RE verb, the RE changes to U. So rendre becomes rendu. But remember, okay, we can't just take bave. All right, bave is not enough. This is a compound tense. And I don't know about you, but I only see one word right there. So, the, pa the passé composé is the auxiliaire plus the participe passé. Two parts. is a two-part verb. If it helps you remember, 
the name of the tent, passé composé, is two words. Passé composé, two words. Auxiliaire participe passé, compound tense. So we're going to take our avoir and we're going to take our participe passé. And then you can see we now have the auxiliaire plus a participe passé for each pronoun. So, j'ai bavé, I slimed, which I didn't. Tu as bavé, you slimed. Il a bavé, okay, which is what he did. Nous avons bavé, vous avez bavé, ils ont bavé. Okay, so it's pretty easy, but you just have to remember, I have to have both parts of this verb. If I only have one or the other, I do not have the past tense. Okay, passé composé, two-part verb. Don't forget it. Au revoir.